Are you ready to listen to a podcast? podcast. Here comes the Playhouse Podcast. Thanks to Bradshaw and Brian Law Offices. Find, subscribe, and listen. I uh, I got this video from my sister. Look at her front of her car. You got to be careful. Deer are everywhere. Uh, Look at the hair in there. There's like all, you know the good part about that is that what kind of car is that? It is a brand new Kia. Yeah. I was just going to say, a lot of it looks like it's just going to be fiberglass repair. Yeah. I think she'll get away uh, pretty cheap on that. I was at uh, basketball last night, and one of our coaches took a phone call. He's like, oh, his daughter got sides, like, T-boned. She's okay. Was not her fault. They just got her Jeep back, and she was driving her mom's forerunner. And hit three deer like like a bowling alley. They're ever, they they uh, they're they're so domesticated in my neighborhood. Yeah, they just walk around my yard all day. Yeah, they know that there's safety there. They I mean, drive and, and, safely. And oh what my was gosh. weird was it was uh, when that little warm up got them back up and moving again. Mm-hmm. And now it's uh, it's a little bit buck wild. <laughs> Yesterday I had a doctor appointment, and this has been the single weirdest year of my life. So I broke my neck at the end of July, and I was supposed to be in a collar. For 13 weeks, I was in for four, and then they're like, oh, you're good to go. And uh, and so I'm not having the next surgery. I don't need it yet. That'll be probably 10 or 15 years down the road to fuse my uh, vertebrae together. Okay. One of the things that happened, though, is I also broke my sternum. And so when I was at the hospital, they did a full, uh, like a full scan or like a full body scan. And they noticed something about my heart. And... They made a note of it in my chart, and when I had the follow-up with my doctor, he said, well, let's get you uh, like an um, in, uh, ultrasound of your heart. Mm-hmm. Let's, see, let's see what's wrong with it. And it's basically a, one of my ventricles. I think that's the right term for it. I, just, I got thrown so much information yesterday. Is too big, and what can happen then is you get leakage. You can have a heart attack. So uh, I get that done. And here was the weird part, man. Like, this is why I'm saying trust your instincts when it has to do anything with your health. So my regular doctor looks at the test and goes, cool, let's get another one in a year. Mm -hmm. And something about my spidey senses went off. And I'm like, "Mm." I text my friend who's a cardiovascular surgeon. And I said, hey, should this be something I'm concerned about? Yeah. And he's like, well, let's take a look. And he goes, yeah, we need to look closer to this. I, I want to, right? So get another scan done. Go in and meet with him yesterday. And essentially what's happening, and Kat put, I tried to draw the picture out for her this morning before the show, and I'm not a very good artist, and this is how my doctor friend drew it out for me. It looks like like if you're about to play basketball. Yeah, it, right. It looks <laughs> like, yeah, well, hey, we're going to run a 5-3 here. Yeah. Uh, and, and so bottom line is I'm going to have to have like one of my uh, – valves slash ventricles kind of like tweaked, removed, flipped, mm-hmm. take it out, and then put a Gore-Tex thing in there yeah. eventually. So they're going to look at it a little bit more. But the weird part was, I was thinking about this last night. I'm going to sleep. I'm saying my prayers. And I don't know how to, like, I was almost mad because what I found out was that this is completely genetic. Out of your control. Yeah, like, like I have not lived an easy life, but, like, I kind of, try to take care of myself, but I didn't have anyone to blame. Like, I could only blame my ancestors for this. Yeah, blame them all you want. Wouldn't you rather blame somebody else than yourself? I think I would rather look in the mirror and go, you stupid idiot. Wow. Because part of my rationing is, if this was my fault, maybe I can help repair it. You know what I mean? Maybe you said no. Huh? You said no, right? Well, there's there's nothing I can do. It's just, it's going to eventually get to the point where the risk of the surgery outweighs the risk of leaving it. Yeah. And so I'm going to eventually have to have this chunk of my heart replaced or this, uh, this, this thing that comes out of my heart replaced. And he said, it's, it's genetic. And my grandfather died of a heart attack. Uh, my dad died pretty early, but from cancer. And he's like, mm-hmm. likely he probably had it. And, uh, and so, yeah. So, but it was, I, the overwhelming feeling when I went to bed last night was I was still mad that it wasn't my fault. Yeah. What is wrong with that? But you did. I think you got to see the silver lining, and that is that you know that your kids are now susceptible to this oh. possibly happening down the road, and now they can keep an eye on The it. other thing is if I wouldn't have broken my neck and my sternum, I still wouldn't know that I got this going on yeah. inside me. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And, like, I could have lived just a fine, healthy lifestyle for the next however many years, and then all of a sudden the Widowmaker. I have a question for you. Do I have to taper my pranks? 
Like no, 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 nothing. The I can still thing, hide in your back. Here was the, scary. Yeah, right. I had a whole bunch of questions about this. I can still take a pre workout. Okay, that's fine. Uh, he's like, keep living your lifestyle. Your heart is good. It was just this ventricle thing, like this part, uh, the descending aortal, whatever it is, is just flared out. And he's like, it, the, but the only thing I can't do now is I can't lift heavy. Okay. I can't go to the gym. He said anything that makes you grunt. I said like a big poop, and he's like, yep, got to avoid it. Mm. So now what? I gotta get on laxative. Um, I have these cookies. I bet you do. But that was the, that's the thing, and so I kind of had to rationalize that. I'm like, all right. So of all things that this could have been, yeah. Like eventually they're gonna have to cut me open, saw my breastbone apart, go into my heart, take out a part, put in a piece of Gore-Tex, oh my sew it back up, and eventually that's it. But after that, I should never have to worry about that again. I said, yeah. "Will that ever be bad?" He's like, "No, no, we'll medically repair it." There you go. It, I'm telling you, it is such a you gotta if you have anything going on, trust your instinct. Get a second opinion. You should never not get a second opinion. I mean, doctors are great. Who they're do you smart, trust? The smart people you know. They're doctors. You they're trust them human. all the time. They're human. So you go ask another person. If they say the same thing, odds are you're on the so right So I was path. thinking about getting another job, but we're pretty close to the hospital here. So I figure I'll, I'll keep you. working here. I can always just book it down to the hospital if I'm feeding short on breath or anything yeah. like that. But yeah, it was it was a crazy day. And I, like I said, wild. I felt blessed that I have uh, you know good people around me, good insurance. And people supported, but I felt this overwhelming feeling of I was mad at my ancestors. Yeah. I and I was too. really mad that I couldn't be mad at myself about this. Like it's somebody else's fault. So it's out of your hands. I feel so helpless. You know what I equate this to is me being mad at my ancestors for not being Irish and me having this tattoo on my body. Not even the same no. thing. I love me some good Pepsi. Very refreshing. But Lindsay Lohan is trying to convince us that you should put milk in it. Nice. Mm, naughty. Pepsi and milk. Pilk. Mm, that is one dirty soda. No. My Santa would throw Jeez. that against have the wall. Tr- have you tried it, though? I would not. I would not. I have, like... And I don't know if you know this about me, a really easy gag reflex. And I've heard from several I, sailors. I really don't want to have a reaction. Kate Hudson, a lot of people have Home Alone on their movie queue for the holidays. You're going to notice something. Well, not so much notice, but now you'll always remember that she is somewhat in the movie. I was also in the chorus on that movie. I still get residual checks. The song in that movie, I was I sang the the in the kids' chorus. Or in their church. Yeah. You see, he's the old man with the salt. Yeah. He's connect. got the little redheaded granddaughter. granddaughter. Yeah. Aww. What a great movie. Have you seen his uh, latest promo for Kevin waking up in 2022? Uh, no. Is that the Kevin Hart? Well, he's like, Google, what do I have on my schedule today? And she's like, you have the whole house to yourself. And then oh. he's jumping on the bed and he's like, uh, uh, Alexa, will you remind me to clean the Is it Macaulay later? Culkin? Yes. Oh, it's not Kevin Hart. I just saw the one with Catherine O'Hara. Where oh, no, shopping. no, She's no, like, no. Kevin! And he's like, you lost two Kevins? This is Macaulay. This oh, is like a cute little great. promo. I didn't know he was still doing it. anything in the media. Yeah. Speaking of Christmas music, I just watched her Instagram story. Kim Kardashian has hired a piano player, Grammy Award winning pianist. Philip Cornish to wake her children up every single morning with holiday piano music. He's just down in the foyer. You've got to be kidding me. I love this. Well, I was starting to come around to her, too. Now I'm back. Oh, man, I love her even more for doing that. She wants her kids to wake up in a calming way for the holidays. They're going to always remember that. I love that. If I were filthy rich, I would do so many crazy things to calm my life. When I was dating my wife, I would, uh, she was living at home in between years of college and I'd, I'd come over there early. It'd be like eight o'clock on a Saturday and I'd, her dad would be out working and I'd give him a hand with some stuff and then he'd go to wake her mm-hmm. and he'd, she wouldn't wake up. Like she'd just be in her room was such a filth pit. Yeah. Like it was just like a girl lives just crap everywhere. Yeah. And, uh, so what he would do is he'd just get a glass of water out of the <gasps> bathroom and throw it on her. Oh my God. That's how, that's how you wake a kid up. Not with a, oozy, you know, easy piano music. Rage. Sometimes he'd press the smoke alarm too. <laughs> oh he, he had no chill when it came to get you. It him. was Saturday. You had to get up and work. All right. We have some resolution a little bit. I watched them reunite and um, they are very cute together. ABC's uh, GMA3 co-hosts Amy Robach and TJ Holmes. They were back 
together again. Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to What You Need to Know, GMA3, and it's Friday Eve. Oh, <laughs> who's looking forward to the weekend? Uh, me? Yeah. yeah. Yes, of course. Of course we are. Of course well, we are. Well, because they know how us. fast the news cycle is, and we'll be done talking about them yeah. once the weekend is over. We're going to get so naked this weekend. That's what they're thinking. But uh, the upper is there at ABC. They had a little meeting, and everything is okay. I mean, they're on the same level of playing field. Nobody is a manager, right? So nobody's in trouble. And, and it was consensual. Yeah, nobody's... Yeah. I mean, there's again, there's nothing wrong with hooking up with your coworker as long as you don't supervise them. There you go. Blowing out their candles today, really? Uh, Britney <laughs> Spears is 41. <laughs> My last supervisor didn't get all right, that yeah, all, right, all right, yeah, all right. Charlie Booth, 31, and Janet Kramer is 39. Let's begin now. Let's get it, and welcome to the weekend. Mm. Finally Friday. About time. These long weeks of five days are really getting to me. Yeah. I didn't even realize it. My uh, my son comes home from school yesterday. Oh, so good to be here for the weekend. I go, you're such an idiot. And he goes, what? <laughs> and he, I go, he goes, it's so great to be able to just relax for the weekend. Oh, yeah. And I'm like, how stupid. You're just a dumb jock. <laughs> and You're so nice. It's just, and he goes... I don't know. We just start arguing about it. He goes, Dad, we don't have school tomorrow. Yeah. I go, what do you mean you don't have school tomorrow? He goes, yeah, I don't know. We just don't have school tomorrow. Some kind of teacher work day or something like that. I go, yeah, heaven forbid you work five days a week like the rest of us. Man. I didn't realize they didn't have school. The I mean, grind. Does, does your son have school today? No. Does everybody, all the kids have off for like. I guess, but I, I forgot yesterday about 10 times. So I was like, I'll I didn't even from know. school. I don't have school. All right. Well, you got a test tomorrow. I don't have school. This is what happens when you have a third child. You don't care. I don't have you, a third child. I, I, well, I, so you don't have an excuse. Like, I, I'm making an excuse for that third child. You just go, mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, did you eat today? Yep. Are you still alive? Good. There's another day. Chug it up. Yeah. That's it. My kid is, uh, he's going to hang out at home. He's going to do chores because he bought a, a skin on Fortnite. What do you get for that? Like, what do you get for chores for that? How much is eight a skin? Eight chores. So That's eight bucks for a skin? Yeah. So it really does work out in my favor because I don't care. It's eight dollars, and uh, and he's polite and he he gets all of his stuff done. What's a what's a chore? Like a, what's a what's a one chore? Well, I bought a massive amount of toilet paper yesterday, and that's like a chore that he hates so much. So he has Wiping to put him butt? in no oh. all all of the uh, different bathrooms. He has to stock the bathrooms. That's a chore he hates. Yes, he this hates kid it is so soft. much. And then. Uh, <laughs> What chores are your chi- is your child doing today? Listen, None, zero. No, my, my kid's soft too. I'm not saying he's not, but yeah. like chores when I was a kid was raking the lawn, cutting the grass, shoveling all the snow, moving the wood pile. He shoveled the other day. He has to do the uh, wipe down the baseboards in the kitchen. I don't want to see oh, any dust. He has to mop. That's some Cinderella type crap. He's going to do the stairs, vacuum the stairs, organize the shoes in the front closet. I made a good list, so I'm going to come home to a nice clean house. You expect Excited. to come home to that? I, I do. Or guess what? <laughs> that skin goes away. I will rip away. that skin right off you. <laughs> I just don't want to be in Target again and have him say, Foreskin! Foreskin! <laughs> Stop saying that! When Friday rolls around, some people look at it as just the end to what was a terrible week. Those people make our FML Friday list. We'll never mention names, but if you'd like to contribute, you can always text or hit us with a DM. Please get us started, Cat. Some of these, like four of them, came in late last night, which is really sad. Today, I went to reach for a long piece of lint next to my dryer. It was a snake. FML. <laughs> get the lighter fluid. I would not be able to sleep in my house if that was the case. Today, during divorce proceedings, I decided to have my kids' DNA tested. Neither of my kids are mine. My daughter's real father is unknown, but my son's DNA identifies him as related to me, but not my son. Oh, so he's my more God. likely my nephew, meaning his dad is one of my brothers. Wow. F M L. Does that not hit close to home with what's happening with our family right now this week? Oh, with yeah. The You're DNA finding out all. Of, you got a whole bunch of new relatives. I ha- I do. Yeah. Through uh, Ancestry DNA and my mom was adopted. And, I mean, it's been a crazy week. All right. Today, I got home to find a pair of my dirty underwear that were in the dirty clothes basket in the middle of the living room. I must be delicious because my dog was like an <laughs> FML. <laughs> oh, man. Today, I got a call from my dad's number. Turns out it was a scammer spoofing him. Also, my dad's been dead since July of this year from esophageal cancer. Oh, my God. Way to rub it in, jackass. Dad. F-M-L. 
today. My name was called during an assembly because I'd won some sort of award. Everyone booed. <laughs> FML. <laughs> Did you see people booing the prince and princess at the NBA game they took no, in? No, Harry and Meghan? No, William. Uh, William and Kate. and Kate. They booed them? Like, way to show our cards, America. This is why and then they hate started the going, USA, oh, USA. I'm like, you guys look like idiots. What are you doing? They come over to just open some hospitals and stuff and, and tour Boston, and that's how you act. That's a jerk move. Oh my God, it's so dumb. Finally, today, a girl came in complaining about her order, saying it was wrong. <gasps> She explained that every time a guy does her order, it's wrong. Oh, no. She wants it done properly by a girl, and she can't trust men to do anything. (laughs) She then threatened me by saying she would cut my doodads off if her order wasn't fixed immediately. Oh, my God. F-M-L. Look what men have to go through, ladies. This sexism. It's not fair for you guys at all. I'm sorry that you have to go through anything like that. You all are the most damn picky species (laughs) on the earth. Hello, Jeanette. How are you today? I'm good. Thank you. What are you up to? I'm great, too. Thanks for asking. (laughs) I'm headed to work. Yeah, okay. (laughs) She she just (laughs) blows right past it, right? All right, here we go. Now, what do do you do for a living? Can I ask real quick? Yeah, I'm a community health worker. Love it. Now, uh, have you ever been on us with uh, on with us in a, a Fortune Friday? Have you had your tarot read? No, it's my first time. Virgin territory. I like it. So, what we did ahead of time is we just found out that you are a Virgo. So that helps Cat dial in your horoscope here before we cut the cards and find out what leaps out. And basically, she's going to tell you uh, what your future holds based on a twenty five cent pack of tarot cards that we don't even know if it's complete from a garage sale. Sounds legit. Here we go. Uh, Jeanette, the Virgo, you are going to feel empowered today. So you use that energy to cut ties with any situations that no longer serve you positively. So start with like um, overcomplicated dynamics. Get those out of the way. Create space for yourself. Hello? And are you even listening? Sorry. To me? I, I am. I missed it. I'm sorry. I think my phone connection got lost. That's what I thought. I can't go on. Okay, just get, you can. You can, she <laughs> can do kidding. it. She's easy. All right, it just says embrace uh, maybe a hot bath tonight. Just says everything's going to be fine. Your life is great. Yeah, you're going to be that? good. Buy a lotto ticket. You're going to win. All right, here we go. You got this okay. seven of cups. Careful decisions, prosperity, and focus is what the future holds for you. I like that middle word, prosperity. Oh. Thank you. That's you're welcome. Thought. Have a great Friday. You too. Bye. Okay. I'm going to chalk that one up to a win. I think she used her cheek and hit the mute button, to be honest with you. Are we ready for Erica? Can you move sometimes, on? Here we go. Sometimes this bit is a lot of fun, and then sometimes it hits a wall rather quickly. Hello, Erica. How are you? I'm great. How are you guys? Great. Thank you for asking. We're Good. both doing so well this can morning. Can you hear me, Erica? Yes, I can hear you perfectly. All right. That's here what we go. thought. Erica, you are a Libra, and your yes. day holds... Exceptional social skills. They're going to be elevated today. People will find it difficult to resist your charms. What? However, issues could what? arise if you go into like people pleasing mode. So make sure that you stay focused on your own goals and then make time to flirt later with someone special. Who is that someone special in your life? Um, I have a fiance. That's oh, Mikey. Okay. Sounded like you had to think about that, <laughs> but that's okay. <laughs> well, she was just she's no. like she asked how I was, so obviously she was pretty interested. Yeah, there you go. Uh, the card <laughs> that jumped out as you were on hold was the High Priestess. I've never oh had the High my Priestess. My God, this is a first time ever. Yeah, uh, stands wow. for mystery, secrets, and magic. That's what your future holds for you. I don't know awesome. if you should take that like in a good way or like scary. I'd be. Do you think spooked. you could put a like a cigarette through a quarter? Is that something you could do? Do you have that skill set? I don't think so. Right. Well, you can work on it, or maybe it's maybe it's, it's an illusion, it Michael. Means, it's, <laughs> maybe it means you have to be more mysterious in the uh, in the bedroom. Then maybe there you go pull out some tricks. Oh, yeah. Yeah, hey, listen, he's the yeah. Jersey Turnpike is my. <laughs> he's, uh, oh, he's the fiance. When's the awesome. wedding? Um, actually, next year oh. in May. So okay. you're giving away so much milk for free. Yeah, I know. All right. Well, don't get milk too much this weekend. Have a great day. <laughs> You're disgusting. All right. Thank you, guys. All right. Bye. 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 Bye.
<laughs> Nicole, I don't know how you follow up that, but we milked in the Jersey Turnpike and the High Priestess, and you are a Leo. Is that what I'm getting, uh, Nicole? Yeah, yeah, that's correct. You ever had a tarot card reading before? Never. Yeah, I kind of like to. I kind of like to measure up how Cat does versus some of the other people who might consider themselves good at this. And I kill it. Mm. So here we go. Nicole is a Leo. Uh, you'll have a creative boost headed your way today, helping you express unique ways of how to get your work done. This cosmic climate is also going to allow you to feel really good about yourself and the work that you produce. Seek spiritual release later tonight. It'll be good for your soul. So just like some pampering. Do you have okay? something planned for tonight that you'll be able to just kind of let loose at? Yeah, my husband and I are going up to Duluth with some friends. Oh, That's what we thought. okay. Maybe it's a hot dog time. Mm-hmm. Okay. Boom, trick, boom, boom. There you go. Uh, your card was the Two of Cups, and it stands for Union, Balance, and Harmony. So it says that there is a budding romance or simply a well-balanced friendship headed your way. See, well, it's not even headed or They're going to Duluth. They're going to get uh, freaky this weekend, she said. No, that's what I thought. Or are you just going to eat a bunch and go to sleep like I do? (laughs) (laughs) Probably. What's trending? What's trending? All right, so what's trending? This mom (laughs) videotaped her three-year-old daughter, bawling her eyes out because she wants what? Why are you crying? I want to have boobies. I want to have boobies. You'll get boobies when you get a little older. No, I won't. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. They're just boobs. And this mom kind of lied because I know a few women that still have yet to get their boobies <laughs> That's the in. Greatest. But I'm, I just want to hold this girl's shoulder and just say, "Listen, they're not all they're cracked up to be. I'm trying to get rid of half of mine. <laughs> they hurt my back." They lay next to me. They flop around. They're not fun. They each weigh probably. Well, you know how to keep the show sexy. Eight pounds each. That's what I love about you. You're they always looking to really, really, really keep an audience. Are not fun. Anyway, I want to focus on the question. Answer it for me. What's not all it's cracked up to be? Hair. So true. Yeah. If I uh, had your shape of head, I'd go I for think- it. But I feel my hair. Like if I go like this, my head is not a good shape for a bald head. I have some, like, there's, like, weird uh, crevices and, like... Wait. Yeah, nobody notices those, though. You know what I mean? Like, I, I was lucky enough. Like, the generation before me, if they shaved their head, they were labeled a neo-Nazi. Somebody thought that they had, like, Hitler-esque stuff now going on. Now everybody Now guys can do it. And, uh, and I started getting away with it when I was in college. You know, I was missing a couple of shingles. And then, you know, like, as regardless when i started shaving it it was just better and uh yeah. and I, I can't imagine if they had the pill that i could take that would say you can get your hair back i don't think i would now yeah it's a lot of maintenance yeah i just sure. like being able to you know hit it with a washcloth and go <laughs> good call i'd say coitus before you're ready man coitus they're only the hell is wrong with you when you wait you know That's wrong. No, guys can practice on other girls, whatever, if they're ready. But listen, if you're a girl and you're younger and you haven't done it yet, don't do it. It's like not even worth it until you're ready. It's like a horrible experience. Then you just worry. Um, And then also drinking before you're 21 is like, look at the other countries that let their kids drink when they're 12, 13, have a little glass of wine with dinner. They They don't rage at senior frogs and then have to go to the hospital and their parents have to come get them After on senior break. Yeah, it's like, just pace yourself. Life is long, all right? The Playhouse podcast is made possible thanks to Brad Sean Brian Law Offices. Catch the live show weekdays from 530 to 9 on 1047 KCLD. Now, share this with a friend.